All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another College of Natural and Health Sciences Career Readiness Initiative Employer Sessions. That's a, math, a mouthful. Um, today we have Amber Willem with us from the Manhattan, Kansas Chamber of Commerce, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about her town and how awesome it is. So, Amber. Perfect. Well, thank you all so very much for allowing me to join you today. It is a great pleasure and honor to be with you all. I will begin by sharing my screen here. Give me just one moment to tell you a little bit about our community and to share with you why you were made for Manhattan. Are you all able to see my screen? It's white for me right now. Oh, okay. There it is. There we go. Perfect. Well, my, as I mentioned, my name is Amber Wilhelm. I am the Talent Strategies Coordinator here at the Manhattan Area Chamber of Commerce in Manhattan, Kansas, and I will be welcoming you to Manhattan today and sharing why you were made for Manhattan. In my role as Talent Strategies Coordinator, I work to attract talent with our economic development team to the Manhattan, Kansas community. And in that initiative, we are developing an online resource called Made for Manhattan. Made for Manhattan will be a great tool for you as a job seeker searching to come to Manhattan, Kansas to make your home. Made for Manhattan will really serve as a one stop shop for HR professionals new residents and then prospective residents of Manhattan. And this website will really be a useful tool for you. So this digital platform will have a lot of really cool features and functions to it to help in your job search. It will have a filterable archive called New to Manhattan that will allow you to research specific content specific to your needs. So you can filter these and search for those specific on our website. Some items you may find would be jobs, or you could search for neighborhood information, or you could search for demographic information. All of these things can be found on the Made for Manhattan website. In addition to that, another portion of our website is our Manhattanite stories. So our Manhattanite stories features Manhattan residents <laughs> sharing a little bit about their story uh, in Manhattan. So these are longtime residents that have lived and worked in Manhattan and are sharing their stories and, and giving you an insider's look of what it's like to live in Manhattan. Those are my favorite part of the website, or that is one of my favorite part of the website. So I, I, I encourage you to look out for that portion. We also have your man have to. So these are a lot of the things that I will go into in depth here a little later on in our presentation, but these are everything that you just have to do when you're in the Manhattan community. So again, I would encourage you to check out this Made for Manhattan platform. It is not quite available. It is not quite live yet. We are actually on the tail end phases of production, but I would be happy to share that with you students at ATU as soon as that does become available. So to begin my presentation today, I want to share with you a little bit why I chose Manhattan. If you are not familiar with the Manhattan community, we are home to Kansas State University. So I recently graduated from K-State and in 2018 actually with hospitality management with an emphasis in event planning. So I, I share this with you because I was facing many of the same questions that you are, as a student are facing in your upcoming graduation at ATU. So I decided to stay in Manhattan because there was immense professional opportunity and I, I had several experiences that led me to my current role at the chamber. And I must say that is, it's been my, my favorite experience so far. It's been, um, it's just been wonderful. So why did I decide to stay and why should you come to Manhattan, Kansas to live and work? Well, the top left hand corner is a photo there. It is absolutely beautiful here in Manhattan. Um, I, I hope that picture just is uh, demonstrating that. The bottom left hand picture is a photo of Willie the Wildcat. Again, if you're not familiar with K-State, this is our uh, mascot and he just cheers on our, our teams and he really rallies up the, the students here at K-State. 
The right hand photo there is a picture of our downtown. Manhattan is often known as something special in between, but something special you don't want to miss. And this truly is the case here in Manhattan. So you could be walking downtown and you could run into someone you 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 don't know, but they'll they'll truly treat you like family, tr truly treat you like friends. We're also a community with um a small town feel with big city amenities. So that's something very special and unique for our community. Some other reasons I decided to stay in Manhattan, of course, the community engagement is such a big and vital role here in Manhattan. Those are several photos featured here. Throughout the year, Manhattan has several different community events, and these are a few of them. And so this really speaks to our community culture that is here and our care for one another that is here in Manhattan. A reason that I continue to stay in Manhattan is for our young professionals um, organization, HYPE. HYPE is our young professionals program that is in place for professional and personal development for Manhattan young professionals. Now, this is an organization that I am highly involved in, and it is one that I cannot encourage you to get involved in enough. I know at as a college student, you were it was highly emphasized to be involved in professional programs, just as this one is. But I cannot encourage this enough post graduation. Hype is one that I definitely recommend for you to get involved in. It will help you continue to professionally develop and make new friends here in the Manhattan community. So, next, I want to give you an overview of what it is like to live here in Manhattan. What exactly is our Manhattan community if you've never visited? Our greater Manhattan region makes up of about 130,000 people, making it about the fourth largest urban area in Kansas. Although I will say that Manhattan city limits make up about 55,000 people. So again, we really have a great community with a small town feel with big city amenities. Some of those amenities and some of those driving forces are Kansas State University, Fort Riley and the National Bio and Agro Defense Facility and Bath. Although that is not all that makes Manhattan what it is, I would say that that is a few of the the driving forces of our community. Now, K State is at the center of our community. It, uh, our university graduates about twenty two thousand people year round, and we truly attract talent from all across the world to come to K State. Fort Riley is our first infantry division about 20 minutes to the west of Manhattan. Fort Riley again truly attracts talent from all across the world and employs about 15,000 people, not including the the family that they those military um, employees bring with them. In addition to that, we also have NBAF. Now NBAF is the National Bio and Agro Defense Facility. It's here in Manhattan, and it's an animal disease research facility. It's actually a biosafety level four lab, and it's only one of five in the whole entire world. So that is very, very unique for our community. It's something that you cannot find everywhere else, and it really, again, marks our community. So as I mentioned, these are the driving forces of our town, definitely, um, what makes up Manhattan, but is not all that makes Manhattan what it is. So if you're not familiar of location of Manhattan, we are about seven hours from you all. So if you drive northwest for about seven hours, you will find Manhattan, Kansas. We are something special in between, as I mentioned before, we are about two hours from Kansas City, two hours from Lincoln, two hours from Wichita, and then we also have a, an American Airlines here. So we offer daily flights to both Dallas and then Chicago as well. So truly we have easy access here by way of roadway or by way of air. Something special you do not wanna miss. I, 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 I cannot emphasize that enough. Next, I wanted to talk about the diversity and inclusion component of our community. Manhattan is actually ranked the second most inclusive city in Kansas, and KSU really leads those efforts. 
their black student unit union was actually ranked among the big 12 universities. So that's really neat for our community. KSU continues to lead and expand diversity and inclusion programming. And if you spend any time here in Mannheim, you will see diversity in our churches, in our faith-based organizations, in our restaurants, and in our sports, and in our arts and sciences. I think uh, something that was said well was by our president and CEO here at the chamber, Jason Smith. He said this in a weekly update back in 2020, the summer of 2020, height of the pandemic, where racial tension was really uh, at a high. He said this, he said, thank you for all you do to make Manhattan a welcoming place. We are doing a good job. However, we must and we can do better. And I think that really highlights the care and compassion that we have for one another in a community, in our community. And I think it really emphasizes our drive forward and our, um, our desire to continue to advance and grow as a community as well. And of course, I can't share with you today without sharing about our COVID response as a chamber. If you are not familiar with the Chamber of Commerce, I like to describe it as a business that we are a business that serves the business community. And so how we responded during COVID-19 was going to be vitally, vitally important. So we helped our businesses continue um, to reopen and recover. And we did that by way of distributing different loan programs, different grants, and then also communicating with different businesses of our resources that we have available at the chamber. And we are continuing to help these businesses reopen and recover. And I, I believe that we are doing that successfully. So what's it like to live here in Manhattan? What is it like to live in a big 12 university town with a hometown vibe? Well, I've mentioned it before and I'll say it again. K-State is at the center of our community. If you have not had the opportunity to visit our Bill Snyder Family Stadium, I would highly recommend that the energy that the students create at the stadium is unlike any other. So I would definitely encourage you to check this out and also encourage you to pack your wardrobe full of purple because we, we are a purple wearing community here. This is a shot at Bramlage Coliseum. This is where they play basketball at. Also one that I would highly encourage you to visit as well. Manhattan actually lives on what remains of 4% of the world's tall grass prairie. So this is a photo of Kanza Prairie. So when you visit Manhattan, please venture out to Kanza Prairie, which is open daily and also free to the public. You are able, able to tour and, and explore our three nature trails. And we have those ranging um, in different sizes. So ranging from two to six miles long for you to enjoy. Definitely very beautiful and I would encourage you to visit. Here's another photo featuring our Kanza Prairie for all you outdoorsmen or outdoors women. If you are not a fan of hiking, do know that we have plenty of trails that you could bike on. We have a Tuttle Creek State Park here, a state park actually here in Manhattan, so you could view the water as well. So plenty of uh, opportunity to enjoy the great outdoors. Next, I wanna talk about the attractions that we have here in Manhattan. This is the Flint Hills Discovery Center. So I mentioned the Conza Prairie before. This is an interactive exhibit showcasing the Flint Hills and all that the Flint Hills has to offer. So whether that be prairie conservation, wildlife, Native American culture, that is all found here at this interactive exhibit. Highly, highly recommend that you visit the Flint Hills Discovery Center. I would also encourage you to visit Liquid Art. Now, this is a 20 acre vineyard right outside of Manhattan where you can enjoy craft wine and craft ciders in our tasting room and also enjoy the many, many beautiful sunsets that are featured out here. If you enjoy cars, I would definitely encourage you to visit Midwest Dream Car Collection as well. This is offered in West Loop in our town. This is a museum that features over 65 stunning cars ranging from year 1907 to present day. So this museum will feature custom cars, 
classic cars, muscle cars, exotic cars. They really do have it all here at Midwest Dream Car Collection. Now, if you have an adventurous soul, this is one that I would highly recommend for you. This is Wildwood Adventure Park. This is an 80 acre zip line park just outside of town. So you're able to zip through the trees and see the outside of Manhattan. The Wildwood Adventure Park offers seven zip lines with a 40 foot free fall drop at the end of the course. And I have done it. It is a little scary at first. Um, maybe uh, maybe not for those of you that have a fear of heights, but, but I would I would definitely recommend it's a lot of fun. And of course, we do have a zoo here. This is Sunset Zoo. So definitely take a trip out to Sunset Zoo where you can feature or excuse me, where you could view over 250 exotic animals, just like this photo here. And if you are a golfer, do know that we have many opportunities for you to golf here in Manhattan. You can visit Stag Hill, Manhattan Country Club, or Colbert Hills. Colbert Hills actually was recently ranked the number one public golf course here in Kansas. And of course, I can't end my presentation without sharing about the amazing food that is offered here in Manhattan. This is a picture of Tallgrass Tap House. This is one of the many great options that we have here in Manhattan, one of the many diverse options that we have in Manhattan. Now, whether you visit downtown, West Loop, or you visit Aggieville, I know that you will enjoy the food here. Lastly, this is one of our many excellent community events that we offer throughout the year. This is the Festival of Lights, where we light a 65-foot-tall 65, 65 Christmas tree in Blue Earth Plaza and offer carriage rides to celebrate the birth of Christ in the Christmas season. Do know that we have plenty of great opportunities and great community events, just like this one, offered year-round including the Little Apple New Year's Eve ball drop. We also have the Little Apple paddle, many, many events, and you will be very, very impressed. Of course, I want to share with you about our major employers. Because of our influences with K-State being an agriculture college, we do have a heavy influence within our technology, bioscience, and animal health industry. Although I will say that that is not the only industry that are is well represented here. I will say that Kansas State University and Fort Riley, which make up our public sector, are other large employers here in Manhattan. We also have a large and heavy influence in manufacturing, fabrication and processing, or service and retail. And of course, for this major in college, for our biological sciences, our, our physical sciences, our mathematics, our nursing, we do have a large uh, need for healthcare and retirement. We do have a major hospital featured here. This is Ascension Via Christi, though we do have other many great opportunities to share with you here in Manhattan. Manhattan is home to this major hospital, but we also have facilities that work to care for those with de developmental disabilities, non for profits that care for uh, the elderly. And then we also have eye care centers, mental health care centers, and much, much more. So I would be happy to share that with you all and share those opportunities with you in an email as well. So next I wanna share a, a few interviewing tips that I have for you. This is generated by our Human Resource Management Network here in Manhattan. And one that I would encourage you to pursue in your interviews, and I hope that I've done a, a good job of this today, is always remember to smile and always try to relax. We know as uh, <laughs> employers that you are going to be nervous and we won't hold it against you. So always try to smile, to relax, be honest, and to be yourself. Those would be my tips for you today. And next, I want to ask you to consider these five things in your head. Please grab a number on a scale of one to five and, and rank it on the, the scale of importance. How, is, how important is quality of life, 
how important is entrepreneurial growth and how important is financial security? I know coming right out of, of college, you you probably think, oh my gosh, five on financial security that I have to, to pay the student debts or whatever the case may be. May be. Know that Manhattan gets the importance. For quality of life, we were actually ranked one of the top 10 happiest small towns. And we were actually ranked one of the top 10 places to retire young. I know that you might think, Amber, I, I'm not considering retirement yet, but trust me, you will. You will consider that soon, sooner, sooner than you expect. For entrepreneurial growth, we were ranked the top 10 mid-sized city for entrepreneurs. If you have a desire to start your own business one day, that should be good news for you. And then we also were ranked one of nine cities that wealth is soaring in under financial security. So please know that we do get the importance here in Manhattan. So if you get nothing from my presentation today, it's that Manhattan is a wonderful community to call home, to live and work in. And we definitely want you to come here to, to find employment. These are all the reasons that I believe that you will want to, but I know that these also could be words on a page for you. So I trust that through my presentation with you today and through my enthusiasm shared about our community, that you will truly see why Manhattan, Kansas is one of the best places to live in America. And with that, I will um, take any questions. You mentioned that there are a lot of health um, positions available. Do you yes. have uh, employers that are seeking those now? Yes, absolutely. And uh, as I mentioned, Kyla, I would be happy to share that information in, with you in an email. They have several different live job boards that I could share with you. And I actually just frequently or just recently visited that site and there is a lot of opportunity for your students. Okay. And if you want to send that information, we can uh, post it up. That would be great. Perfect. Perfect. Are there I just will... the nursing or is there a wide range of health um, positions available? Yeah, I would say, say that there's a, there's a wide range. There's also a major hospital, um, Stormont Vale, that has a facility here as well. So there's a, a lot of different opportunities for the students. Uh, and the agriculture, do you have positions that are available there or is that um, is that just local farming and, and things like that? Yeah, I would say that there is definitely with NBAF um, beginning in, um, to hire employees, there is lots of opportunity here. Yes. I noticed there is manufacturing, so I'm assuming the STEM is available as well. Yep. Yes, ma'am. And we uh, have recently met with a few manufacturing businesses and they've expressed a great need. So definitely if we have, um, if you have any manufacturing students, um, manufacturing, fabrication and processing, that is a, another big industry for us here in Manhattan. Okay. All right. Are they looking for only bachelors and masters or do you have uh, needs for associates or certificate based? Um, students as well. Yes, I would say that the, the both of those and um, no, both of those would be okay. available. Okay, that's good information. Perfect. Okay, well that's good. That's good to hear. We have we cover all of those, so it's good. Good Wonderful. to know what we have available. Yes, absolutely. And again, I I really appreciate the opportunity to to share with you all today for sure. It's been a great joy. Well, thank you. I, I learned something each time. <laughs> I really enjoy hearing Learn about Manhattan. Yeah. Sold me on it. I'm like, okay, so in the future, I need to take a vacation and go see it in person. And yeah. <laughs> we would welcome you with open arms. We would welcome you with open arms. Like I said, um, Amanda, Kyla, I will send you all the resources that we have for job opportunities within this this field as well. Okay, that would be yeah, great. I'll be sure to add them to the description of your video on YouTube. Perfect. So you Thank you so much. And see it. 
Absolutely. And your um, your companies can post under your handshake account as well, or if you have those jobs, you can, um, or if there's a list that you would like to send and we can send it out in the email with links to those particular employers. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that, that would be good too. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, just get that to me and we can get it out in the Okay. Be Wonderful. really helpful for them to just be able to explore and see what's going on as well. Perfect. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to share before we close? No, I th I think that that is all. I I do want to make sure. Um, I I had mentioned that we're on the the tail end of production. Um, for me, for Manhattan, was was that correct? I I just want to yeah. make sure that was clear. Okay. Perfect. I just didn't want to be misleading, so I appreciate that. I look forward to that website being up. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Yes, we, we are excited as well. Well, thank again, you. I really, really appreciate your time today and thank you so much for allowing me to join you. And if any questions arise from students, please feel free to hesitate me or feel, feel excuse me, feel free to contact me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you so much, Amber. You're thank welcome. You. Good to see you. Have a great rest of the day. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye.